Yeah. If I look at my students, right, um, even if we pick extreme examples, the last boot camp I run uh, was in Poland. So a very conservative country, very religious views. And one of my students pulled, I think she was 19, 19 year old virgin. Okay. Never had sex before from day game and had sex with her within three hours. Okay. So, um, and this isn't just like a once it's ever happened in my tight. This is like last boot camp in a very conservative country. And that wasn't the only guy that closed a virgin at boot camp within three hours. So what I'm seeing here, okay, um, and this is why I want you to correct me if I'm wrong, is what I'm seeing here is you've got a style of game that is a little bit more slow, right? You try to build comfort first before anything else, which is it's wild not more me, slow. But... It's it's not more slow. It's more okay. efficient, more effective the majority okay. of the time. Okay, so to me, it appears more slow, okay, by this model. Um, you're doing comfort, and then there's a, there's no um This sexual, is the straw man. This is no I'm not sexual defending, authority. I'm not defending I'm the gonna M3 like, model right now. I'm not hang on, does it not M3 start with model. comfort? What is the model? Tell me the model. So Mystery has his M3 model, and I have my model, which is the, so vortex, is. the vortex of love. The, okay, so the tell me the, the quick like steps. a ride at Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, tell me wait, the quick steps, then. You wait. The book's coming out January 2025. Okay. It's the most sophisticated, so, it's the most sophisticated model so, ever written. By, by definition, if you're I saying seven hours for you, and, and I'm saying two hours simple for and me, sophisticated. by definition, it's slower. Okay? So if you're doing a slower model, now what it seems like is when you try to escalate quickly, my my interpretation of this, okay, again, I want to hear what your escalation method looks like. My interpretation is this is what I see with a lot of students and a lot of other coaches is they think escalation just means like being on, just trying to touch the girl, make out with the girl, trying to take her home. And if you do that too early without compliance, then of course it always turns up with the girl basically rejecting you and you're fucked. So I would like to know how do you escalate when you try to do fast escalation? That's what I'd like to know. So essentially attraction you can compartmentalize you can break it up into personality based attraction and physical attraction if you meet the minimum attraction threshold in both the physicality physicality department and personality department you have attraction some women depending on their ideal what they're looking for physical attraction is enough they don't need to know much about a guy's personality and they're willing to hook up right so you can go from attraction to physically escalating in my model relatively quickly if you want to it's just the majority of women this is why i hate generalizing right okay we're, and we're how basically... would you escalate that was my question so you have attraction this girl sees you and she's like damn nice beard pretty face this guy's you, you seem like pretty muscular wow i want this guy um you got attraction how do you escalate if I'm going for fast escalation, yeah, fast. You said you've done fast escalation, doesn't work for you as well. Yeah, as so so, so like usually my fa my fast, fast escalation, escalation can go a few different ways, right? I may say something a little more brazen and a little more sexual. I might do some kind of sexual seating or some set some sort of sexual frame, similar to what you've been describing. But I'm much more like what? A fan can of, I hear? I'm much more a fan of Ross's style of sexualizing interactions, which is using a lot of sexual undertones getting the woman to open up about deeper aspects of herself, triggering, triggering an emotional and psychological arousal by a, by a deeper subconscious bond as opposed to just laying a sexual... I mean, I'm hearing a lot of vague as a term. Thank you for, I, I thank you for the validation. Can you give me an example of getting, what that looks what like? What you're not if getting, we, you're not getting is you can do it with an aggregate total time of 45 minutes if you're skilled, two hours if you're a moderate or a beginner. And if you want proof, go to seduction.com, download the conversation code. It's absolutely free. You don't have to pay me anything. It'll show you how to start conversing with women where you can create these states. If you're an amateur, two hours. If you're good, 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, go try it for yourself. Don't believe me. Assume I'm a crazy old senile man with systemic Louis dementia. But just download it, see if it works. If it doesn't work, never listen to me again. Marcus, I gotta, I gotta bring something up too that you said earlier because I've jotted a few notes yeah, down here so we don't miss any spots, right? So you've implied. I'd still that love having... to know how you escalate, but go for it. Sure. No, let's go there real quick. So I'll share a few tips on how I escalate. I can't give away the whole farm on a free Zoom call, right? Guys, gotta get some coaching with me to learn the full spiel, right? 
But or well, no, I'm not asking for I'll a four have... Alexa. I'm just asking like some very practical explanations of what interactions look like when you escalate. Yeah. So when I first will meet a woman, typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a sexual charge within my body. Okay. I'm going to talk about things that are not sexual, sexual, but I'm going to subconsciously charge myself up sexually. And that often happens naturally if I'm really attracted to a woman, right? Then what I'm typically going to do is I'm going to escalate as small as I possibly can and test to see how she responds. So usually that what that entails is holding eye contact with her for a split second longer than normal eye contact is. So instead of looking at her and looking away, she's going to get the tiniest bit of eye contact that goes above and beyond a friendly conversation. And then I'm going to release that tension and see the reaction that I get. If I appear to get signals that it's working, I may hold eye contact for a little bit longer. I'm going to start more directly facing my attention and my sexual energy on her. I'm maybe going to let that sexual energy seep out a little bit more in my, in my voice as I speak with her. And then at some point, I may say something more sexually overt to see how she responds. I'm going to share one of my favorite ways to do that right here for free, right? I will say to her, I want to tell you something. I got a secret for you, right? This is, um, we're just imagining a, a night game scenario. So there's a lot of noise going around. There's people socializing. Maybe we're at a party. I have a secret for you. And she comes in and I whisper in her ear. I say, you're really fucking hot. You know that. And then I pull back and I go, yep, I said it. And then I'll maybe give her a little playful back turn. And then again, I'm going to test and see, did she get creeped out? Did I misread her? Is she like, oh my God, what did he just say? Or is she looking at me with those uh, doggy dinner bowl eyes, right? So if I'm going to sexualize quickly, I'm still going to test, see her response, sexually charge myself up a little bit. Then I'm going to say something that's a little bit sexual and then I'm going to release. It's a game of... of moving forward and then release. It's not two steps forward, one step back. It's one step forward, two steps back. That's right. a small um, little, that's a small right. little primer for how I will sexually escalate quickly. I mean, that's not sexually. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, let's hear how you what, do it. If you can the, one up the, me, let's hear it. Let's hear how. Yeah. You okay. Do it. This is, this is exactly what I thought. So basically before, when I said your idea of sexual escalation is probably going to be something that's on, right? So what I meant by that is you're holding eye contact, sure, fine, I think that's great. And then your next move was basically giving the girl a compliment and saying you're hot. Um, so yeah, this is that not, was my, not my next move. Escalation. That was not my next well, move. Well, it's sorry, it's the next move you told me. I'm not saying sequentially. No, I like said that I might do that multiple times. I might have several moments of holding more eye contact. Okay, with her. they they and all... then I'll let and then I'll let the sexual energy charge up a little more. As I communicate with her, I'll sexualize more. Then at some point when I think she's ready, I'll say something like that to see how she responds. Let's be clear. Okay. So we're holding eye contact, having sexual subcoms. Okay. So maybe you're speaking Holding eye slow. contact for a split second longer than normal okay. eye contact is. Okay. He's right, talking so about bit... calibration. He's calibrating. Yeah, yeah I'll I know. just That's let you exactly misinterpret. I'll, I'll just let you misinterpret what I've said, and then I'll correct you after. Go ahead. I wasn't How? misinterpreting. Okay. No, no, no. I'm sorry about this. There's been so many claims that I'm misinterpreting what you're saying. This is literally what I said before. I literally said your idea of escalation is probably going to be something like holding eye contact and then telling you you want to take her home later. The equivalent of that is holding eye contact and telling you you're really fucking hot. Okay, that's exactly what I said before. So I don't see how I'm misinterpreting this. This is exactly what I thought. The idea here is yes, for most guys, if you want to escalate, there's ways you can do this where it's on. This is how I consider it. There are ways where you can sit there and you can have sexual subcoms. So these are things going to be like holding slightly more eye contact. It's going to be things like lowering your tone. It's going to be things like stepping in a little bit closer. Um, it's going to be like gazing up from her eyes and down to her lips. It's going to be telling her like, oh, you're so fucking amazing right now. Oh my God, you're driving me crazy. These are all like on escalations. What I consider is sexual authority and building tension is going to be, um, the subcoms are good. I think you should always have those. It's pretty like standard for everyone. But now I want to build the idea that I have pre-selection and I'm good in bed. I want to give her a reason to actually get turned on and a little bit horny in this situation. So yes, things like cold reads where I can sit back and say, oh yeah, I can tell this is the type of guy you like. 
and then get into some sexual fantasy shit. So um, to give you like a longer explanation of this, what it would sound like is, hey, I can tell your type is, right? I, I already fucking know. She's like, oh, really? What do you think it is? Listen, you need a, you're a feminine girl. Okay, I can see this. This is a good thing. But you need a very like strong and masculine man to help balance this out, right? She's going to be like, yes. I'll turn around and be like, look, every guy here is a fucking pussy. I can already see that. Every girl fucking agrees. If you're in somewhere like Spain, you can say every guy here is a little too up himself. He's a little bit machismo. It's going to change depending where you are. But you hit her with a sexual cold read that she understands. Then the next move is, yeah, look, I can even see in the bedroom, you probably need a guy a little bit more masculine there too. Guys are probably a little bit too soft for you, right? Oof, Again, oof, she's going to agree with oof, that. And then bad. we can slowly move it forward. Now I get to a point where we can say like, what do you think you're missing out on? What have you wanted to try that you've never been able to? So I'm never on, I'm never saying like, I really want to do this to you. It starts off with like a third person thing where she can explore, talk about it. And then I can start moving it to more like dirty talk where it can be like, look, and uh, yeah, I, I agree. You do need that. Okay. And th this is what I have in mind. Get it to say, oh, what is it? Hey, it's a little explicit. Are you sure? Yes. And then you escalate. So my idea of escalation isn't just some on thing where it's like, you're hot. I want you because yeah, you're just going to get pushback from that. It's about building sexual tension, showing sexual authority and having the girl invest in you that way. That's how you have fast escalation. Because Ouch. if you're within an hour, the girl's saying exactly what she wants, then she's going to want to go home with you. No, for me, I it's, like it's it, fun. I, it's... I would like to add. Go ahead, Michael. Okay, so so uh, Marcus, uh, from your from, from what you said there, actually, it sounds to me like it's not only about you know being you know very good at cool questionnaires. It sounds like you your way is actually to find out what you think about a certain thing, and then using that context to whatever you want to do it. Like yeah. if you want to say that the guys are all pussies, it's not based on something I. I just remember a line I remember. It's actually based on context. So if you ask her, for example, like, uh, hmm, what type of guys do you actually like? Seriously now. And then she would say mm -hmm. something. And then you, you, you just pause there, look her in the eye, and then like, you know what? I want to find out more. And then she might give you something more. And then you mm -hmm. just, bam, take that. And then you say like, you know what? All those guys here in the club is pussies. So mm -hmm. that kind of statement must have come from the context of whatever she said to you. Did I understand you correctly not, there? Because not necessarily. Make them. Yeah, so you're, you're right here. Um, you're right here. Like I'm taking some of her information and then I'm using that to move it forward. So yeah, 100%. Like I want yeah, to get some yeah. feedback. My initial feedback is that she's a woman in a club. So I'm already going to assume that she's going to want a strong masculine man. Like there's, there's like almost every single girl. Um, and obviously like the way she speaks to me and sometimes I explain that to her, like, oh. okay, she giggles and looks down a lot or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, but you're right here. If I say like, um, oh, and you probably want this a little bit more in the bedroom, blah, blah. I could ask her questions like, um, what, what have you wanted to explore that you've never been able to? What type of- Where's the watch, fun? Right? And then where's the, where's she the... can turn around one second. Then she can turn around and say like, oh, like I've never been spanked before. Or I do like to be choked or I do like X, Y, Z. And then as you said, Michael, then you use that, right? Tell me more. I'm yeah, interested, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, I, 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 I get the picture for her, yeah. Yeah, so in that sense, actually, now it's a little bit like what I said before about having conversations that matters. Like every yes. woman is saying something. And when you really listen to what she says, it's like, I can actually tweak it to go down here. Yeah. And then when it's time, you're going to reflect back and doing something sexual. You're saying something sexual or you're saying that those guys are pussies, aren't they? Based yeah. on what you just said, like the context I get from you. Yeah. Now I know how to reflect back in the way they're going to maximize my escalation further. The way I can actually go into the power of admittance where I can actually admit something based on what she said. Like, you know what? I find you really sexy here. I find you really attractive here. You know what? I get goosebumps when I'm thinking about you. Based on that, that, and that. But all about the context. So yeah, just, just exactly. to I'm, find I'm out using, how you go yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using yeah, the I, girls' information 100%. When I, Sorry, when when I, when I've had my right. fast escalations, they were much more fun. They were much more fun. They're full of humor and laughter and joking around and teasing. I'm not going in there saying, I can tell that you want all this stuff in the bedroom. Marcus, here's what I think is happening. This, this is the problem, though. My, the girls Marcus, think you're a here's what I, you here's, here's what I think is happening. I think that a lot of these women are hooking up with you in spite of your game, not because of it. 
And yes, women are over 600 women, incredibly hot women that are slept with me. You have not been with 600 women. You have not been with 600 women. All right. At whoa, least how do you know yes. that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. At least whoa, 600, whoa, yes. Whoa. If you can read minds like that, I want to. Okay, go fair, fair. That was that wasn't nice of me. Maybe you have. I bet you probably haven't. But I, that I, wasn't nice either. I'm going to stop. But here's the thing: women are very. We forgiving. can make a bet. Women are very forgiving, and women know what it's like to be into a dude, despite his game, not because of it. They sit there and they roll their eyes. I'm like, oh my god, this guy. Hang on, hang on. So I'm going to take this as a massive compliment. Thank you. Do you think by looks, uh, getting me to sleep with all these girls? I'm getting a boner. <laughs> uh, maybe it's his Australian Bro, accent you know what? or or the amount love... of uh, Australian dollars he has. Oh my God. 1 million Australian dollars. You must be rich. What is that sure. worth? Exactly. Listen, worth? listen, this has much more to do with a woman's will than your skill. Hang on. I don't so care how hang on. skilled. I'm, I'd love to know this. Okay, I don't. You're so delusional that you think that um, it's not my amazing isolation. It's what? What? Why are women sleeping with me on the first night? I'm so curious. You are you are dismissing your failures as anomalies, and you're only counting your wins. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Well, Listen, um, you didn't if my you question. why if are you, they sleeping with me if it's if it's not for my game? Tell me, what I, is it? Let me answer, and I'll answer your question. If you go out and focus on fast escalation, you can get better at it. You can get better at spotting women that are open to it. I'm not saying it's not an intermediate to advanced no, skill. I've slept with a lot of virgins. I've slept with a lot of girls in Eastern Europe. It's not just some girl in America that's like slept with 500 guys and is down. But I'm curious, why do you think the girls are sleeping with me? They have to be attracted to me for something, right? These hot girls. What, what's the reason? Just, you know, a combination of game and sloppy game and a little bit of forgiveness in there. If you're sexualizing... So your it's... So it's by bad game they're sleeping with me for you've already agreed with me at the beginning of this call the majority of women you keep are... saying that i'm agreeing with you the fact that if you look up data that mm -hmm. women will say if they go on a date with someone like yourself that 20 percent of the time they're accepted mm -hmm. with having a one night stand yes i agree with that but i think if they go on a date with someone where they don't feel slut shamed where they're allowed to open up and explore their fantasies where they feel There's very comfortable and have a level right of trust there then no, it's not strong. And this is all true. Then they will want to have sex a lot more than 20% of the time. When did I say that women are sluts for hooking up uh, quickly? No, I'm saying that. I'm saying women feel that way. If if this is, you don't believe in this? If you go on a date with a girl and you don't deal women. with any of their judgment and then you just tell her like, I want to have sex with you right now. They will not say yes, even if they want to, even if they're horny because they will worry about feeling like a slut. I mean, Being sexually open-minded... Being sexually open-minded is definitely a good frame to have if you want a woman to feel sexually open-minded as well. That's a part of it for sure. Yes, but if you make her wait 10 hours, she's not going to feel that way. Here's the thing. If you get, if you go out on a mission to try to escalate quickly, you can hone that skill. You can get better and better at it. It just, it still doesn't mean it's the most you effective. You know what? I think the issue let me is finish here, my sentence. Let me, let me, let me, let me finish my sentence. Go for it. It Sorry. still doesn't mean it's the most effective style of game to run the majority of the time. If you want to run your fast escalation game and you want to burn through a bunch of great opportunities. I'm not burning just, through any opportunities. You closing are every burning single day. through opportunities. No, I'm not. By no, I'm saying not. these sexual things to women very early on, I promise you there are women that are going, Jesus Christ. No. Yeah. This is not true. Listen, oh, yeah. there might be girls that aren't going to jump on it. So we can use my example I used before. So maybe I say like, hey, listen, I can tell you like a very dominant masculine man. Okay. Now there is some situations where girls give pushback to this. They don't jump and on it. And they go, ew, they, what the hell they did might... he just say? Ew. What was no, what? Obviously. What did he just say? Obviously, That's what they're no thinking. Idea yeah. about women. So no, the type of um, pushback you usually get from this, Eric, is going to be something along the lines of, um, no, that's not what I want. Like, I want a guy that can listen and I don't want to be like in the kitchen. They'll give some version of that. Like, no, I'm an independent girl, right? That's the pushback you get. Not this is weird and creepy. Or, no, that's the type of pushback. And so then you just calibrate and you have ways around this. So then you can say like, yes, obviously you're a very independent, strong woman. Okay. But I think you need a very independent, strong man to match that energy, right? You don't want some guy asking you, like where should we go for dinner and not knowing what he wants to do in life then she agrees and now you can move forward um just like with you're going to get objections concerns this is a whole idea you push forward you get them and then you deal with them so you might take want to take a girl home and she says like i'm on my period 
Okay. That's not being weird and creepy in the goal, like going, no, you just say, that's fine. I don't mind. Right. I can put a red towel down. Everything's fine. We can have sex in the shower. Then you deal with that objection and you move forward. Um, so yes, and we don't do that. This we, is like foolproof we... and step-by-step step, everything works perfect. A part of escalating well and moving things forward well is you're always like testing tension and you are having to deal with certain things or build more attraction or make her a little bit more horny or deal with the objections. Of course, I'm just going to sit here and wait for her to like make the move. So building sexual tension and testing for tension, I agree with these things, right? Uh, but still, I think that there's a, I think that, wh where's the fun? Where's the laugh track? Michael has talked about how when okay. a woman really where's opens the fun? up- Do you want me to tell you where the fun is? Yeah. Okay. The fun is I like really kinky sex, okay? I like to take control. Um, I'm into Shibari. I like to tie girls up. Um, I like to be like a really fun pal dynamic. I like to be able to take a girl home after meeting on her the first night and have this incredible, amazing sexual experience where then we can lay each other next to each other panting. She's come a bunch of times and then we can talk and hang out and then she desperately wants to see me again that's the fun now fun to you might be sitting there and making an innuendo or like a ha uranus joke or something and like laughing about it um if that's fun for you that's that's completely fine and look if you personally like to just take it really slow with girls that's also fine i think there's a few issues there i think you might actually lose a few girls from doing that if that's what you personally find fun and want to do that's fine but to just say fast escalation isn't fun i think like majority you, of guys you, you said would you like to have you, sex with this girl you have, as soon as you possible, have optimized Okay, Why? hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me Why? let me just uh, tag Ross in here because he might have to go pretty soon. So let's have some uh, oh, more. Sorry, Ross. He's being very Ross. patient, Ross. I'm I, sorry. Go I ahead. I keep I keep hearing the term fast. For me, it's effective, not fast necessarily. Uh, uh, fast is part of effective is a foundational part of being fast. If you're not effective, you can't be fast. So hear me out. I personally think it's not effective to try to demonstrate higher value by telling stories about how you're a leader of men or a protector of children or whatever it is, because here's the primary reason why, hear me, Ablaze, because you're making a huge error. You're talking about yourself. And I see Michael nodding his head. Can it work? I think people with personalities like Eric, your partner who's a naturally charismatic dude and is an entertainer yeah but it's working because they're drawn to his skill and charisma not because of demonstrating higher value is evoking some genetic code that gets fired off i think seven out it's taking seven hours because things like demonstrating higher value stories and all the rest of that is just ineffective it takes that long not because women can't be responsive quickly it's because what you're doing doesn't allow them to respond quickly that's my argument uh, you have so to this be effective is, before you can be fast this is value-based game that mystery runs right so there's science that backs up and supports value-based game the idea that if you can demonstrate that there's a value differential that the woman will be more inclined to be attracted to you and mystery has his five attraction switches i don't 100% ascribe to value-based game, though I do think it's for the majority of women, it is the most dominant form of game where you can demonstrate that you have survival value. This is backed by evolutionary science. Women are attracted to men that are tall, strong, have resources and so forth, right? That doesn't mean that that is my preferred method of game, okay? What I'm seeing here from Marcus is that he has optimized a style of game that works for him, that attracts the type of women that he likes. The question is, is that style of game effective for the majority of women and for ask the majority of men to use? Why don't you ask his students and Marcus exactly. asking me? Marcus, but that's this debate. The debate, the debate results, is, do they not? Yeah. A hundred percent. And it's not, is, I, I, I what's know your that, refund rate? What's your refund request rate? Zero. I, right. I can't tell. Well, that yeah. says something. Unless he's lying, and I don't think he's lying, unless he, and I don't think he's you lying. Can, you can post in our group and ask. Yeah, you 